Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Tengu230. I hope you guys are having a great day. So welcome back to Cradle. It's for Ida's... Fuck, man. I don't know. I can't even get her. Like, I need to open this door right now. Oh, it just opens on its own. Holy shit. Wow, her body is just straight up flailing, man. This sucks. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Where am I supposed to go? I have to look for lightning. Where's lightning? I have... Oh my god. The only other... Okay. Let's... Can we hop on the thing? Wow, the rain, the rain effects are actually pretty cool. But holy shit, it sucks seeing Ida like this. Uh, God, I'm so lost. Okay, there's the platform. I think, actually, did I take the platform back? I think I did. Here it is. Alright, so uh, I just go where the lightning strikes are. I think the lightning strikes are over here. Down here, maybe? I don't know. Uh, the only other place I can think of is the gardens, man. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Is there anything here? Is there any... Okay. Look at that. Right up on top. Take Eda to a powerful source of electricity. Okay. We're going in there. We're going in. H am I... How do I do it, though? Come on. There's no way to get up there, though. I what? I thought I heard an eagle or something. Is that on guts? What? Secure you in a vertical position at the center of the ruined flower bed. The ruined flower bed. I hear on guts. Where the fuck are you, on guts? On guts? I hear. There you are. On guts. Over here? Okay. If I position it up vertically, I'll be able to plug that sparking cable. What'd you say? Okay. There. What sparking cable? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, that one in the back. Hey, thanks, Angots. Reanimate Ida with an electrical cable. Okay. Uh, is there... What is go... Oh, shit. I don't know I could do that. Oh, okay, I guess that's where I'm pulling the cable to. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's Half-Life this... Oh, God, I electrocuted... What the fuck? It's a live wire. Okay. Okay, pick it up. Pick it up now. Just go slow. I don't want to accidentally burn myself again. Let's do it. We're good, right? Frame rate's kind of slowing down, but that's okay. Rain effects and all. Ida? Please tell me you're okay. I just booted you up. Whoa. Power surge. That's what you meant by... removing your top half. Ida, open your eyes, please. Are you there? Da da da. No. Ida. Say something. Say something. Yes. How do you feel? Strange. Strange? In what way? Describe your state. I feel anxious. That's good. Good? Yes. Just don't shut Oh, up. your eyes are open. Look at me. Why? I'll explain everything later. Angats and Ida. Explain everything later? Wait. Wait, is that it? Whoa. What just happened? Did he go in like a time bubble or something? Sphere. What? Newspaper that I didn't read. I th actually, I think I read that. I read that. Are they showing the things I read? Let's go We're going backwards in time. I was wondering what that random sphere bubble, or th that bubble was when I s went down the slide. Is he going back in time? Is that what happened? Is that what he's doing? This is the dream I had when I went to bed.
Whoa, that's her! Right, that's it for Cradle. End. It just ended abruptly like that. But it seems like I was going back in time? I felt like I should have read more things in the yurt. Or just like more things in general. Just like to explore and read all the backstory about all the stuff that happened. But I know Sandy did. Um, Henry was telling me that she was there for a while just reading everything <laughs> like in the yurt. So I think I'm going to have to ask her uh, what she learned, because I know she definitely read more than me. So that was a very 
interesting, very unique game. I like the aspect of Ida. It was really cool. Like building her, trying to like repair her, and trying to get her memories back. Even the world itself is so mysterious. It's so. It's something that I hope that the developers. I hope they make a sequel to this game. Um, and I know it's sh a pretty short game, but for some reason, it's like I feel like it's the right uh, length for the game. It, it, I mean, I clocked in about like seven, six, seven hours. I think that's actually a lot longer than than some other people. I was having some trouble finding stuff and um, having some trouble with the puzzles and everything. But I think there's just something about it that makes you want to dig deeper into this world that was like presented to us because it's extremely interesting how you know flying cafe for semi animals came up with all these ideas and it like meshed together really well so uh yeah those are my thoughts on it uh let me know what you guys thought i mean this is the end of the game so thanks for joining me um from beginning to end i hope you guys enjoyed you know the commentary i hope you guys enjoyed the game um like most of all so anyway on to the next game so if you guys made it this far, thanks for watching, and as always, take care, and thank you to 30 out. Alright guys, until the next game, game on everybody. What the fuck? What the fuck?